so back at the range real quick i hope y'all can hear me it's super windy out here They've, i've already got two of my targets knocked down but a question that i get a lot when i come to the range is what can i do when i go to the range to make myself a more proficient and accurate shooter right and i tell people when you, when you go to the range this mainly applies to outdoor ranges indoor ranges you really can't do a lot of this unless like they have a lane spe uh, specifically set up for people to do things like that but this is more for outdoor range when you have a little open setup, when you're not in a bay area, things that you can do while you're at the range. Firstly, what you should be doing is drawing, whether it be from concealment, three o'clock, appendix, or outside the waistband. You wanna be proficient in drawing that weapon. And all this stems from dry firing at home, practicing at home, right? So when you get to the range, before you even pull the trigger, before you even take that first shot, draw. Keep drawing, keep drawing, do some trigger presses, make sure that you're comfortable doing that first. Do you about 20 reps, I say. So 20 reps of just drawing out drawing out of the holster. Get that down, get that down. And when you feel comfortable, you're like, all right, cool. I got my draw down, I got the nerves out. All right, let's move on. Now, secondly, second thing you should do is when you start to engage your targets at different distances, people, you know, sometimes people can get a little intimidated by people who are shooting at 45 yards, and 50 yards, and all this good stuff. Right, where do most self-defense situations happen? Between five and seven yards. Ooh. They got unlimited ammo over there. So where do most uh, self-defense situations happen? Between about seven to five yards. So bring your target in. Start at three yards, start at one yard. Who cares? It's your training time. Your training time, right? So take you a couple shots from that one yard. Push it back to three yards. Push it back to five yards, seven yards, 10 yards. But don't be intimidated that right now you can't hit at 25 yards. Does it bother me? No, I don't care. Can I hit at 25 yards? Sure, who cares? But get honed in on those skills from that five to seven yards. Don't feel like you gotta push it out past that to be a proficient shooter or the greatest shooter ever, right? We're talking about self-defense, self-defense, right? So start at that one yard line, take you a couple shots, see where your groupings are, see if you have to make any adjustments to your red dot, to your grip, see, see if you're flinching, anything like that. You know, so just hone in on those skills at a smaller distance to make sure that you're being accurate and proficient, right? Now, thirdly, let's talk about magazine changes and why I believe that magazine changes are extremely important. Because firearms are tools. Tools break all the time. Magazines are tools. Tools break. I don't care if you're running Glock, SIG, CZ, MMP, Walther, Staccato. I don't care. Guns will fail. Magazines will fail. So are you prepared to change out that magazine to get a new magazine in? Or if you're engaging multiple threats, then you have to do a reload at some point. Are you proficient enough to do a reload accurately and proficiently? So that's another thing I tell you about is just make sure that you know how to do standard magazine. Right. Now, lastly, again, if you can do this, not all ranges will let you do this, especially at the indoor range. If you can do this, Move your feet. Let me say it again. Move your feet. Let me say it the other way so the popcorn can. Move your feet. All right. Get off the X. I tell people a lot. Don't be a stagnant. Don't be a stag. 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 Don't stand in the same spot and shoot. Move around. Even if it's just as much as taking a step to the left, taking a step to the right, backing up, engaging, moving forward. Get off that X. Because then a self-defense situation. You're going to have to move. Threats don't stay still, neither should you. Alright? So practice getting off that X, moving a little bit. I'm not telling you to sprint 200 yards and take a shot. No. Just move around. Shuffle your feet, get off that X, and engage that target. So, if you have any questions, if you have any other drills that you want to introduce people to, drop it down in the comments below. If you have any drills that you want me to do, drop it down in the comments below. And follow us on all our social media, subscribe, share, tell everybody about what we're doing over here at Simple Career Life. We're almost at a thousand followers on YouTube. So let's build those numbers up, get this information out to as many people as possible. And always remember, it's not a hobby, it's a lifestyle. Simple Career Life. Out.